A huge thank you to 2000 Trees. They really graciously gave us press passes to this event and it's our first time ever vlogging an event where we are accredited and allowed to be there and allowed to film and it was so exciting. This was our first ever trip to 2000 Trees or really any festival this size in the UK and we had the best time. Uh, this vlog is covering pretty much everything we did at the festival. We missed a few things here and there, but honestly, you're gonna get pretty much our raw experience. We camped with everyone else. We didn't camp in the backstage area. So you're getting an experience with this vlog that you'll probably have if you go yourself. Tickets are already on sale for the next event and they're not paying us to say that, but I just thought since they gave us free passes to this one, I would give them a little promo. So link down below if you guys wanna go to the next one. It's a huge re recommendation from me. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and let's rock the hell out. Just found out that Donald Trump was shot. We have made it to 2000 trees. Ah! And I'm walking down a very steep hill. Don't know why I'd start the vlog like this. And I'm very excited. This is the first time we've ever been invited to a festival as press. So we're, we're vlogging in a professional capacity. <laughs> Very exciting. I can already hear music. I'm getting that glass though feeling again. Walking through the woods in the middle of nowhere. It's 1 p.m. and we're taking a break. Yeah. We've gone down a hill, up a hill, down a hill, up a hill. It's the same hill. Yeah. It's the same hill. We had to go back and get our stuff because <sighs> the guys had our trolley and uh, we had a very very helpful human being, Michael. Thank you so much for thank helping you, us up the hill. What a legend. Now we have to find the campsite. Yes, and set, set up our up. tent, have a breather, have a drink, and go find our friends. Woo! And it's going to be a good time. Okay. It feels good to be back at a festival. It feels really good. It's very small. It's little, it's and little. I love it. Right, so hot. I do not usually do set up in the middle of the day. And um, our beautiful, delightful friends in all of their glory decided that we were going to camp at the very, very, very... I, I'm going to have words with whoever decided to camp here at the arse end of nowhere. Very top of everything. Why? Like, we had to go down into a valley and then back up a hill into our, into our tent area. I'm going to kill them. The water's all the way down there. The toilets are down there. I fear that we haven't got the greatest camping spot, but I can tell you that I'm about to inflate the mattress. The thing's already up. The tent's already up, and uh, we are gonna go and listen to music. Good Hi. job blowing up the mattress. She Thank did you. this with her Thank breath. <laughs> she was like, <sighs> right, right? Yes, no, 100%. Ig ignore that, ignore that. Um, we're done. Um, get ourselves some some beverages, go and hydrate, join the gang, listen to some music. Who never gets his fucking ear, cunt? It's fucking sass, mate. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, whilst Emily records a little bit of beef footage, I am just giving you a little update to say that we have set up our tent. We are fully established. I have two drinks, one of which is an Aldi Taurus pina colada flavored cider uh, cocktail. And it's fucking delicious and I recommend it. Um, I will say also the fucking birds, the birds, the birds at trees. Oh, really? They, they're bringing it. They're bringing the talent. They're bringing the talent, right? They are. Uh, the men try better, try harder. Try out men, okay? Um, I've also got this, which looks like orange squash, and it is, but it's got vodka in it. Unfortunately, the tap is producing nothing but warm water. And um, I, will, <laughs> I will say, it doesn't taste very good, but it's gonna get you good drunk. Um, doesn't taste very good. Tastes evil. Tastes evil. Okay, so we're in at Trees. There's a, there's a stage right here, Axiom. Uh, we were expecting it to be way smaller than it is, but Emily was saying, there's only going to be like five food vendors, but we've got Silent Disco over here, not food, but we've got Susie's, we've got all this food all along here. Fred has already diagnosed the vibe one minute in, let's see. One minute in, vibes spectacular. I think this is the main stage. I could be wrong though. I've left Fred and V watching Enola Gay, I think. And I was just like, I fancy, I want to see the sight, you know? So I'm wandering around, trying to see what's going on. And um, it's really cute. And I've heard that there's like a forest area that everyone goes and chills in. But I don't have a map, so I'm doing this 
or uh, vibes based. We're just seeing what we find. I assume like this is the main stage, but I'm not sure. I may look like a fool later. We'll find out. So officially our first uh, bit of music at 2003. I keep on wanting to say glass though, that's not correct. My first bit of music at 2003 was Enola Gay, which I want to say I love personally. Um, I feel like the plan right now is to search for, go get our bearings, find out where the forest is. The forest is actually really fun. And um, yeah, right now, I don't know who's playing right now, but this is a vibe. Very, very few times to get a female lead singer in a rock band. I'm, I'm loving it. Dress and they fucking slap. That was 100% top notch street, mate. Yeah, no, great. Banging. We definitely watch that again. So I like, kind of missed some of it, but whatever. It was still really good. Is this sort of Glastonbury? Absolutely. Do I fuck with this really hard? Yes. This is so good. I'm having a blast. All the stages are so close together, and it means that we can just like walk three or four minutes and get to the next stage, and the music has been great. The biggest difference right now between Glastow, Glastonbury and also and 2003s is that our friends are like, yo, I'm heading over to this stage. And I'm like, all right, cool. But it's just like a five second walk away. So we're just on our way. It's so nice. We bumped into the same friends and it's look at that. It's really, really nice. So we're looking for Ben right now. We've got four of us. And um, look, at the, look at the crowd. I know, the crowd's pretty busy right now. But I have every faith that we will find him. We're gonna find him. We're gonna find him. But I decided it is time for my first meal because I have stuff coming up. This was like a good gap for it. So I left the guys back there enjoying. Who was that? I actually don't know. Um, let me see. I can find out. I'm debating buying a cauliflower cheese pie. And that seems like the most unhinged thing to eat on a hot day. I just fancy it. Nah, that's got to be lunacy, right? I'll update you when I've chosen. <laughs> And asked me why I actually did it. 
That is a cauliflower cheese pie. Not something I've ever eaten before, just felt like it. Uh, it was seven pounds though, which isn't too bad, but it doesn't come with any bits. But I'm not like, I don't want like mash and everything right now. So I think it's gonna be good. Okay, amazing choice. I had one bite and it slapped. I can't eat it and fill myself because I haven't bought my stick for some reason, but it's really good. luck we kind of have but um we always seem to find ourselves at festivals with the hottest fucking weather and the weather right now is roasting i've already burnt my neck ash has uh been a very kind gentleman very kind aussie and give me some skincare advice and been like put some fucking suntan lotion <laughs> on your neck but yeah um i don't know what it is but every time we come to a festival it's just roasting hot even though we're hey, call this hot <laughs> we were fucking uh, yeah no i do call this hot <laughs> i mean it's i mean i'm burning it's gonna be hot yeah. But um, yeah, we were promised uh, storms and rain and shit like that. So like, I'm pleasantly surprised. What, what do you think, Em? Would you call this hot? Yeah, it's fucking hot. Yeah, it's warm. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking yes, hot. no, we haven't we haven't Aussie. Like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being mocked right now. Yeah, no, it's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. <laughs> and um, I've already burnt my neck, so you know we're already at that stage of the festival. But having a really good time. Uh, every apart from the main stage every festival um every stage is in a tent so that's kind of good um good for, you. Good for me to like vitiligo boy yeah i don't worry i'm the whitest australian you'll ever meet oh i could as well i got vitiligo i actually have negative pigment i'm like i'm, I'm, I'm like opposite yeah look you can see fred's authentic color on his legs yeah he's got little cow patches but thus far great festival um we are headed um i don't know where we're headed now but we're gonna go somewhere Over there. i hope it's to the main stage and um Stay tuned. Stopped off to get some drinks. I got a a rum sling, which is delicious. It's coconut, it's pineapple, it's rum. Emily, what did you get? I got a white Russian. I always like the same as cheesy. It is really, really, really strong. So after a lot of searching, we were told by a man that the forest is actually outside of the main arena which i was not expecting and we had to walk a little bit into the camping area and look it's the forest stage and it's so cute um there must be hammocks hello double dog experience whoa whoa it's keep it going hang on. so yeah we're probably hammocks Okay, it's time for a recharge. I have a ice black coffee, which is legendary because, oh, I don't know if I told you, Fee and Fred have gone to get more drinks and um, I was gonna go up and I was like, I just don't want to do the hill again. I've been quite a little slow today. So anyway, iced coffee, blondie, raspberry or blackcurrant, I think, and also a full water refill. Um, there's these spots. 
or you can buy a water bottle or just a refill thing. Um, and they will refill you with icy cold water. There's so many bottles for the gym and um, I couldn't find one this morning. So we've only got one and Fred has tarnished it with disgusting vodka, orange cordial concentrate stuff. So anyway, uh, yes, it's sugar and caffeine and recharging time and maybe buying band t-shirts. People think I have connection. <laughs> Idiots, I don't have connection, I'm in the fucking 90s right now. Yeah, there is absolutely no connection. I can't even send a text. People don't realize, I'm just talking to myself. Oh. Fred keeps talking about Glastonbury, but um, I'm gonna do it just once and say they need more of those. Glastonbury needs these so badly. Can you see, they're like sun shades. That makes such a huge difference. Like, that's uh, so nice. It's really when we are here, I have a good time on my own. I don't need them. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to actually make the vlog. Um, for one, the sky looks amazing. So that's good. And if I cut it here, you guys know why. But I just walked past someone saying, I'm gonna give him one more chance. But he has been accused of sexual assault and rape. Yeah. And I'm like, you're giving him one more chance? <laughs> you're gi what? What? Okay, that's, I just wanna say, emphatically, that is not one more chance territory. That is, you're done, you're done a festival chat just um, w like hand sanitizer my hands was washing my hands like getting the hand sanitizer off um, and there's like three blokes and they're just talking about how when you're in the urinal you have to look at other people's willies and I was like I was told that was a lie I was told you didn't have to do that and they're like no 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 and they're always bigger than yours like my life to find Lou roll though usually I carry some around with me and then I forgot Fred's run back up to the tent while I went to the loo to get Lou roll and jumpers I love that for me. Anyway, I don't know if I showed you my coffee and my blondie, but it has reinvigorated me. And I think Fred is returning. Yay! And here we have Emily waiting for me. There she is. There she is. <laughs> it's Fred. <laughs> when two vloggers meet in the wild. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Um, I was just going to show you guys the trees sign, but I'll show it the way round in a second. It's cute and sparkly, and I want to get a picture in front of an E because it's for Emily. Oh my god, my bobs are out. Mm -hmm. Whose bobs are the most out? Reviews. I think it could be Fred, you know. I'm practically very conservative. I'm a traditional woman. I can't see what that says. I don't know. You want to, uh, what, you want to pass it up? Pass it up. Should we see what it says? What do you think, England? Should we see what the sign says? Yes, okay. People of the people. What does it say? Hey, this is Cody. Oh, calm down. He's married. You know what I'm saying. Ah, uh, food Anyway, back to this nice wholesome moment. I was like, oh, so cute, and I was like, 
have once again made everyone go up the hill. I'm not doing it again, I'm annoyed. So I am going to meet them all, hopefully by the toilet, and we're going to go to the Sunland Disco. Oh, there's also, I think, some comedy happening. Sunderland. We've been there for 20 years and they'll end up with a decent football team and a bit of culture. <laughs> but it's funny, you know, when you live in London and you, and you have diversity Wait. and multicultural and seemingly manufactured and imposed on you, it's a fucking peculiar situation. And some something really fucking up. I remember when the BBC got on the old diversity bandwagon, some of you will be old enough to remember this. They are two flagship programmes, Great British Bake Off, they had a Muslim lady on there, right, taking a Victoria sponge cake, right? That was diversity. And, and I'm, 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 I'm strictly come dancing there and a, a lesbian, a black lesbian ex-boxer doing the Viennese waltz, right? They were calling that diversity. To me, that's getting black people to do white people's things. That's not diversity, that's colonialism, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity to me would be to get white people to do black people's things. So, I don't know, instead of a program like Who Do You Think You Are, we could have Where are You From? No, Where Are You Really From? And make a white person sit there and justify their fucking existence in this country. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here in China. <laughs> Other program ideas include Immigrants in the Attic. <laughs> I want Stop and Search, a program where we get to see people like <laughs> Nigel Farage being tasered outside Brooks and Chairs. <laughs> 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 I'm a little bit Eastern European myself, actually. My, my dad's Jewish, so I can trace my family tree back generations to Poland. Uh, well, it's Russia, actually, but they're not that popular at the moment, so... <laughs> Time for the silent disco. And do you see all those little lights? Those are all people. So I was having an impromptu campsite sing along. The vibes are great, loads of people are going for silent disco. And I'm going home because I'm tired. <sighs> Fight still dancing though. Not sure you'll get footage. <laughs> So we're at the uh, Silent Disco, and I've been uh, approached by people who know us from our Glastonbury vlog. These guys. And so we watch all the vlogs. Emily, Emily, where are you? Emily, where are you? Where are you? She's got in the fucking bed. What's wrong with that? Oh, boo. No, we don't like that. We don't like that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. The more of you guys are watching, like we can get more. Go to more festivals. <laughs> we got we got another little campsite set and look <laughs> <It ends. laughs> I think those are official stages <laughs> It'd be funny if they were though but uh, the vibes are exceptional everyone's having a blast <sighs> me too I just got back to camp. It's time to sleep. With that being said, I have to fucking find every single thing I need to sleep. I've got to brush my teeth. Bleh. But I am ready to be warm and comfy. It's been a long day. I've done like 10 bazillion steps. Got up at seven. Collapsing about one. Not good times. Like, we're gonna do better tomorrow. Yes. Things got really wild. And I became with Charles. And I found this here. Send it. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Parenting's not for me. I'll try my best. It's gone. It's gone.
All right, it is the morning. I've had a full, re full body rehabilitation. I am, I smell nice, would you believe it? So we're heading down to the toilet. And then we're gonna come back up and see if Fred is alive, because it's nearly midday. And if Fred's not alive, then I'm gonna go down and start listening to music and meet him down there. It's a the nice thing about a smaller festival. Easy to find each other, which is good. But Fred, I haven't told you about this was out until five. Hang on, might be too windy. Hang on, how's that? Hopefully better. Fred was out until five. Like a lunatic, mate. Well, like 4.30. It was closer to, uh, to five than four. Um, but yeah, no, I don't even know what he was doing because the music stopped at like three, I think, the silent disco. And um, yeah, I was lying there, fucking freezing, being like, oh my God, he'll be back soon. Oh, I hope he's all right. Oh, I hope it's not too... And like, I must have slept because I lay there for like three hours and there's no way I noticed that I was laying there for three hours. So like, I must have slept for some of it. I don't know when, because I don't remember. I don't feel like I fell asleep, but I must have. But yeah, eventually he got in, got into the, got like jumped onto the mattress, got straight into the sleeping bag. And I was cold because I was an idiot and I didn't put on more clothes. I had like two layers of pajamas, which was good, but I needed more. He gets in, frigging cold as ice. It was like a scene out of Twilight, absolutely frozen. Um, and so then he warmed up and I went to sleep. So that means like on paper, I've only had five hours sleep, which I really hope isn't true. I really hope I slept more than that. But anyway, let's go see if there's a massive queue for these toilets. So after a few million squillion steps yesterday, uh, my feet actually feel really good. Shout out hiking boots. I have this nice little outfit on, and then I literally have hiking boots. Oh, so cute. Oh. All right. I can hear someone throwing up in the portaloos. That is a bad start to the day. So I went out to the sign disco. I danced. And I drank a lot of drink. And now it's midday. And Emily's not here. I have to go find them. I'm feeling good. This is just me being cruel. I want to mock the dirty stuff out. Everyone else is out and they just got up. Shame. <laughs> How was you it? stayed out the latest. <laughs> yeah. The shower queue. I was wondering how the showers would be, and it's absolutely crazy. This is why I bring my bucket. got a burrito bowl it is 12 pounds with no extras and it's fine to be honest i just got it for the vegetables i was gonna buy another pie the pie is by far the most cost efficient thing like seven pounds for a full pie i was gonna get another pie and i was like no oh, don't get scurvy so i got the burrito bowl and it's it's fine like it would definitely benefit from a big handful of cheese but it was one pound fifty for cheese and I was like, £1.50 for some pre grated cheddar. No, so I didn't get it. But anyway, also walked away from the stage. I bought it down by the stage and I walked off because I'm not particularly into whatever is happening down there. American, Irish, pan pipe nonsense. No, that's hatred. That's hateful. I'm sorry. Just, it's joyful. It's just not what I want right now. I managed to find Emily. I, got, I dragged myself down and uh, we're in the main stage with the rum jack who I think I've just finished there you go one more song um, but yeah I am hydrated up to my eyeballs and we're living the good life now I just gotta find some food I'm gonna show you what the food is have you eaten yet? yeah I got a um, you'll have already seen it a very medium burrito bowl but it did have all of the necessary vegetables <laughs> Wait for 
forever at this coffee shop, yeah, right. but it's right by the main stage. And I got a flat white. And it's amazing. It's so good. So if they ever see it, shout out to Coffee. Oh my god, how do these people get in on an ATV? Mate, the OAP's got the ATV. Let's go. Alright, Grandma. Um, but yeah, it took forever, but it was worth. Also, I may have got somebody else's drink, but I'm optimistic. There, there was no other Emma forthcoming, so I think he just didn't hear the illy. Hopefully. Behold, Fred returning to life. He has purchased mash, beans, and a sausage roll. Fine <laughs> sustenance. Yes. Here we have. Is it good? He has hunted and gathered. <laughs> and he has found sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so talking about politics. Uh, so the, you know that thing, right? Yeah. Like, fuck, yeah you fucking hell. Love him. What? Get him off. Get him off. Right. <laughs> She's wearing an MCR shirt, my queen! So we are off to Axiom. Uh, we have just finished listening to As as December Falls, not As November Falls. Uh, I am slowly recovering and I've already consumed an alcoholic beverage, which must mean I'm feeling better. Fred lasted 10 minutes and he's gone back to camp. <laughs> uh, so I have to find everyone because um, he's yeah. tired. Oh wait, I'll see him. Thus begins the nap. Good night. <sighs> All right, so this whole time everyone's been complaining. Where are the hammocks? There's usually hammocks. I want the hammocks. Guess what? They're right here. The stage is over there. What the fuck? What are the chance of that? I was looking for you. Oh, well, that's okay. Moderately. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was saying, everyone keeps going, where are the hammocks? The hammocks. Yeah, literally, all I've heard is. Too. I thought they'd yeah. been removed. Everyone's like, there are no hammocks. And I literally come down here and I'm like, hammocks absolutely everywhere. Okay. Hammocks this galore. Is you, this is sort of bank for the chair. It's nice. I like it. It's a good viewing position. They know that this is the chill out spot. Yeah. They've made a wise decision. Mm -hmm. It's for chilling. Hammock drama continues. These people are packing up the fucking hammocks. Which means that either they're stealing them, possible, or it's their hammocks. BYO hammock. <laughs> BYO H. Bjoch. 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 Way too close. Too close. <laughs> Apologies. So, sorry for spreading false information, uh, but it seems like there are no hammocks. So, we are approximately halfway through trees um which seems like a good time to give you a quick summary of my experience of trees so far seeing as i've never done it and i will say trees slaps oh god maybe i've timed this badly i was thinking i was going to get it between the band i think they sound checking trees is great it's super fun i came here not really knowing almost any of the bands other than the headliners so it's been a really fun experience like just seeing a bunch of bands that I wouldn't have otherwise seen and like getting to hang out with my friends and the bands have been really good the stages are so close together so if you like walk up to a band and then you're like mm, this isn't my vibe you can just go to something else I think they're starting oh my god also this is the festival that I have seen the most children out there are children and people with kids all over the shop because it's small and I have never seen so many people with mobility aids. Lots of people with disabilities here, which is really nice because I know most festivals try and be accessible. 
We might be fucked now. If, if, if I have to dump this over. Oh god. Alright, so I know most festivals try and be accessible, but I think like the size of this one really does make it accessible. The only issue are the hills, like you gotta make sure that you can power yourself down and up the various hills. Um, but yeah, it's like such a chill vibe. Um, not chill, like the music's pretty like, but like everyone seems to be like, having a good time. Um, they've got like a charity here which is like making gigs better for women, which is really nice because like, I haven't had any like majorly creepy dudes. Um, honestly, the girls here, they're super fit. The girls are turning it out. The boys are not. Um, we're hoping for better from the boys in the future. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I think it's a lovely, lovely festival and a really fun vibe. And I'm looking forward to enjoying the Shuttle Disco more tonight. So I think that's when everyone's doing their bonding. We've made friends. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been good. Halfway through trees. It's like, I was in the forest to watch Lauren Hibbard, but I watched the band before her and then left because I want to get myself sorted out for the evening. Ran into Fee, she's alive. Um, we're going to go see if Fred is still at the camp or if he actually made it out because I feel bad because there's no way of contacting him. He was like, I'm going to go back to the camp and I'm going to set an alarm and I'll be back in an hour. But obviously, <laughs> who knows? So we're going to see if Fred's up. If not, we're going to pack up our bits and bobs. And we're going to go back down. Maybe we'll catch some Lauren Hibbard in. If not, what are we going to do? Other stuff. Uh, everyone's going to see clit drop, apparently. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to see Bob Villain. Don't really care too much about the chats, but I mean, there are, aren't they? So anyway, yeah, and I've got Ash, our Australian friend, who we met on the train, has since told us that Australians don't even like them. So, facts. Update, Fred is not here, which means he's officially out in the wild. Hopefully he's having a good time, um, and hopefully I find him when I'm out and about. For bad, I kind of thought he'd still be asleep. <sighs> I can't find anyone, so Fee just said she was at the forest, watching the nice lady. So I'm gonna head there now and uh, watch the nice lady. I'll try and find Emily and Ben and everyone else later, but hopefully we can find them again soon. I'm the only one at this festival who has signal. Of course I don't know them, I ended up watching Grandson and they've been very fucking good. Very much enjoyed this. I had no idea that Grandson actually did one of my favorite songs with Blood in the Water. I listened to that shit all the fucking time. And holy shit, seeing that live, it's so good. This is why we go to festivals. 2000 trees. It's fucking, it's so good. It's so fucking. Oops, I fell asleep. I set an alarm. So, it's only an hour. I'm gonna go and continue having fun. I just. Diet. You know what? It might be annoying being camped in the fucking arse end of nowhere, but my freaking god, the views from the top of this hill. It's so gorgeous. Look at it. Jesus. Just heard some uh, turnover at Axiom and uh, they sounded great. They sounded so good. I'm kind of sad I missed the whole set. 
Um, but yeah, check them out if you get a chance. They were kind of like slow. Their vibes were good. Um, I also ran into Ben right at the entrance because he was uh, trying to text Amy, who is his wife, which is really cute. He was like, I'm going to find some signal and contact my wife. So yeah, now I'm going to see if I can catch the very end of... Yeah, I've been saying clip, drip, but I think it's like drop. Which, I mean, neither make more sense than the other. And then it's Bob Villain, who I've already seen twice, but I'll always see Bob Villain. I love him. Love him, babes. Just saw someone with a, the who hat to like hate you. Mongolian who? Not old men. Um, and I was like, yeah! We saw them in our last Glastonbury vlog, they were so fucking good. Oh, they were unbelievable. <laughs> Not the buggiest, I've got a white Russian again. Trees. I literally I'll don't tell you what's going on. Oh, we're gonna find Bruh, out. Bill, what's going on? Bill, what the two As Fred just said, Bob Villain, both are called Bob. It's Bob and Bobby. They're, they're both Bob. Two sides of cheese. Around bending spoons, game is weak, but we'll mend it soon. Texture like sun, don't mention moon. Cause the night time is full of a plenty goot. Dark nights seem to put me at ease. I don't want cross the street, don't jump or flee. Takes more than the heat to discomfort me. I'm in the kitchen cooking so comfortably. Cold time blow burning. I love Bob Dylan so much, he is so fucking awesome. The only motherfucker here with a Palestine flag. Yeah. Realist motherfucker here. Should we introduce and, um, ourselves? Honestly, we fucking. Introduce ourselves. If anyone deserves success, it's this man right here. And I Bro. fucking love him. Let's not forget Bobby. Who's seen of us course, before? when I say the Bob, I E, both of them. <laughs> Here we go! Around you. <laughs> I don't know why. Woo! Here's Al! Hi! 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 Congratulations! I like the who can fix Adam again. Yeah. <laughs> I feel special. I mean, what more can we want? I said, go You can say whatever you want, all right? Because it's free speech. You say whatever you want. Who am I to fucking say what you can and can't say? Say whatever you want to the people of Villain Fest. Let's fucking go! Warm souls occupy a cold flat. New shoes, new coat, old hat. Fishing it on and I won't go back. Nah, I've been there. Yeah, I done that. Ooh, big dreams that swelling in my head. Big dreams, big boy, big bit. Wanna share it all for the last time I did. I learned something, things are better left unsaid. Good work, when we lost our dreams in the box. Little black, double day, lost our dreams in our socks. Bring it out with me, do it all our dreams, don't get rolling. Let everybody wear the top of many things in box. See, it's hard sometimes, we make it somehow. If we can't make it different, take it. I'm going in. It's Bob Villain, I'm going in. Making barely enough to make it through the day. I know, I know, I know. You are more than your ability to earn. You are more than your future successes. You are here. You are now. Surely, your existence is testament to the successful lineage from which you arrive. I know you know it. Sit the fuck Right 
wonder, fucking hell, mate. Hey, people wonder, people wonder how we get away with such such things, you know? Like we've uh, we've been able to travel the world and play this beautiful music to you, beautiful people. Um, with just us two in the band and uh, no guitars on stage and doing things very differently to how a lot of bands do things, you see? Release music on our own record label and have it go in the charts. Win Fancy Awards! And uh, there are people uh, they tend to be in other bands that wonder how we do it and they sit there boo-hoo and it's not fair, it's not fair. They're not even playing the guitar on stage. Wow, 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 wow. But it's all capable because of you lot. It's all possible because of you lot. The only reason we can do this is because you show out for us and you come and you see us on tour and you buy the merch. <laughs> that helps us. Right. Dedicated to all the pacifist punks. Fuck off. I could do this all day long. Sing a song. I dream a different song. Cheese bit no fruit and the veg has gone black. I'm your water movement, I'm not talking. This is Mason Bolt, he's about to come to us. We're excited, we're hoping for the best. Let's go, let's go. I won't follow me, follow me. Let's go all the way to the back. Let's go, Sue Brown. Let's part the sea. Let's part the fucking sea. We got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Now we're moving. 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 Come on. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Hey Grant, how you doing? Hey Grant, how you doing? Oh look, are you not gonna come and join us? Woo! <laughs> I need my stage dive crew over here. You got me by yourself? Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Come on, we'll give you a minute. Everybody that had the energy at the front, now find the energy at the back. <laughs> all right, brilliant stuff. Eddie, are you doing, Brian? You all right? Eddie, are you all right? All right, we're going to do this now. Hey, George. You lot look trustworthy. <laughs> yeah, let's move these fences. Move them in if you want. Yeah! The power of the people, look at that! Right, let's go for a book! Moving wicked and bad. Oh, there's a... Moving wicked and bad. Put the money in the bag. Put the money in the bag. Put the money in the bag. Do you reckon we can get me back to the front of the stage? Because that's where I'm supposed to live. Put your phones down and help us out! <laughs> There we go, we're getting there, we're getting there. 
Hey, how you doing? We can't. We made it, thank you very much. George, can you get a set list of that person with the sign saying, Can I have a set list, please? All right, look. My name's Bob. His name's Bob. My name's Bob. We are two Bobs in a pod. We are the Metallica murderers. We are the Karan band killers. We are the most important band in Britain. We are the cutest band in punk rock. We are the slam dunk hooligans. We are the Fred Perry Mafia. We are Fred, was it you? Did you touch the crotch? Ah, Fred, consent. Wasn't you? Can you confirm? Put your hands on the crotch. Put your hands on the crotch. Oh my God, you guys are so cancelled. That's not cool. It wasn't me, Bob. Okay. It wasn't you. Confirmed. I have footage. I was far away when it happened. Okay. Giving us her festival dinner breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. Meals, you know, mm -hmm. as a games girl as well, protein support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a protein bar for breakfast. Yeah, and then we have two substantial meals. Look at that, and this is not substantial. This is mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, so it's steak and chorizo. Mm -hmm. oh, right. I asked them for advice and everything, and she was like, That's steak and chorizo. And I was like, Yeah, I've embarrassed myself. Don't ask. What'd you get? Uh, she didn't get the match. She was a brave enough to get the match. What'd you get? Cauliflower cheese again. <laughs> you're, you're an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> the bad thing about two consecutive ciders is I have to pee again. Um, also, I've been having a great time in Xerxes because literally everyone I spoke to was like, I'm going to go see hot milk. And I was not ready to fight for my life. So, yeah, I'm interested in seeing if the chats get as big a crowd as... Oh, I'm recording. There's no hope. No one's seeing this for days. Um, <laughs> people keep asking me like, how do you get a signal? I'm like, I don't have a signal! I live in the 90s! Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, blah blah blah. Are the chats gonna get as big a crowd as Bob Villain? Bob Villain was crazy. I'm obviously a Bob Villain stan. And my new Australian friend Ash has been telling us that Australians don't even like the chats. So, the drama of it all. Anyway, I'm gonna watch them. There's nothing else on, so. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, PP3 uh, acts! Oh, yeah. it's, uh, it's kind of madness you can get with us. It's got three acts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, Fred uh, forgot what you're supposed to be meeting, and therefore I have taken control of his cocktail. Hijacked! I want to go buy my own one. Bye. Someone's little my baby life. carriage. They've done it up like a Romany carriage. <laughs> Feels like home. <laughs> so cute. Bad news. Despite my nap, I have fallen. So I'm chilling and going to sleep very early. Everyone else is going to the disco. Um, 
the song and disco. Fred is down there. I have his phone because his phone is the only thing that has signal. I have literally none. So I am told him to make other people record. But if you get recycled footage from last night, don't say anything. All right, he's having fun. And I stole his phone. Good night. So I survived. Uh, another night where I got back at the death o'clock in the morning. Yes. Um, it's freezing, so it was really cold yeah, last night. It was cold. And they were like, it was freezing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm yeah. a French chambermaid. I literally like inflated the bed, got everything all nice and warm and set up. It was lovely. Um, so Fred was only out till four, half an hour been free yes. on last time. Um, but I think he had a lot of fun. The yes. only bad thing is uh, he left his phone with me because he's a legend. So I can have a little bit of signal. Well, Emily doesn't, her phone, like, no nothing. signal. No like, one apart from me has signal. Yeah. And I was, Emily didn't want to come out. And I was like, well, I'm not going to leave you here just to lay in the tent with nothing to do. So I um, left on my phone and she got some texts. I slept like a thousand hours. I chat with Sophie a little bit. I listened to like one ASMR video and passed out. You know what? Sometimes you need to get yourself a woman with fatigue to look up to your tent. <laughs> but anyway. Um, but now I was walking down to the loos because... Uh, there's a queue absolutely everywhere. Every loo has is, is got a massive Which queue. Which is normal. It's 10 in the morning. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Fred literally rolled over and was like, I need to poo. I need, I to, like, I need to poo. Yeah. Emily, I've got to have a poo. And I was like, I can go for a pee. And the problem is that, as I've covered multiple times in this vlog, my camp is all the way up fucking hill. So, like... Yes. So oh. we're going all the way down, we're going to get our steps in. Yep. in our, I mean, we're both wearing our flip flops as well. Absolutely feral. And, Oi, uh, no free toes. How was the loo? <laughs> it was good, we went all the way down. And then in the rain. And we're just coming back up. I want to show you something. So, there's all these little camps um, that like go up the hill. And, uh, Get a little musical. Fucking made it. Fucking hill. It's raining. So just waiting for Emily to get ready, and I'm chilling at my tent. There she is. And uh, just have a little sit down. I've uh, gone out <clears throat> two nights in a row, and uh, got back at five in the morning the first night, four in the morning the second night, and uh, I'm feeling it now. I think I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> but it's really good. So I'm gonna go see Michael Sarah Palin uh, soon. I don't know who's still here. I think it might just be me and him. And um, catch up with the gang they've all gone down to watch the music already but we're a little bit slower i'm also significantly older than everyone else but age is only a number being uh being abused yeah all right i've nicked fred's glasses and we're heading down to actually listen to some bands it's only the early afternoon <coughs> i'm the only one who's fit enough to drink <laughs> They did have a lovely time last night, though, so, you know, it, uh, it balances out. You look like your dad in your Oakleys. <laughs> Allegedly, this is Michael Sarah Palin. Where they are, I could not tell you. I fear we, we arrived a smidge late. They need another big stage. Yeah. Like, it's all tents and one big main stage. They need two main stages. It sounds nice though. We were discovered. We're now being taken to our friends. Hey! Well, it's just Michael, but still. <laughs> what in the wicker man is going along here? Who that? Mate, he's cool though. Show up. Oh, this is the horror theme thing. Did you see oh, the dress up as horror? Yes, they have like a fancy dress team and it's yeah. horror. Oh! Things, like, so we've seen a shark thus far and all of Scooby Doo, which I wouldn't say is horror, but you know. Yeah, Scooby Doo people are like a prank. 
Let's go the costumes. There was just a crowd of sexy Velmas. It's like very Scooby Doo themed. I'm gonna do a better job. It's hitting the Korean chicken bowl, and I'm hitting the place we got chips from. I don't know if I ever vlogged it, the Hungry Toad. But the chips are unbelievably nice, so I'm optimistic that my bluebird is gonna pop off. Yeah, they're not taking the piss with the cheesy chips. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I have discovered that the Venn diagram of uh, people who own, what the fuck's his name? Hang on, I'll remember everything I was about to say. diagram of people with uh, Frank Turner t-shirts and uh, men in kilts is a circle. That's just a fact. Here comes Emily. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking minutes, and she ordered it about 10 minutes before that. It just takes too long, it just doesn't work. It's not an instant food. Is it worth the wait? I don't know, it's still very hot. Oh, it's not very hot. No, no, it's very hot. Oh, okay. Have some cheese in it. Hey. 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 For Creeper, everyone told me it was Wargasm. Liars! Damn, that's the guy who runs the festival. So don't embarrass yourself. Don't do it. You might get kicked out on a free ticket. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, fuck. oh God. No. The one day I've got my tits in. What was I thinking? You've always got to have them out just in case. Yeah, the group was upset. They were upset. Anyway, we're back at the forest. Something's happening that has been described as not gentle. So I assume it'll be quite heavy. And um, I'm also debating on what drink to get. And the situation is is that I keep buying white Russians and then being disappointed where is it? Uh, white Russian um, and then being annoyed and disappointed but I don't really like sweet drinks very much and obviously alcohol leans very sweet so it's white Russian and misery time good news Ash just gave me a free cup bad news it's got possibly the remnants of an Australian spider on it so if I'm dead uh, you know you know what happened to me 
Woo! That saved us £1.50. We have so many of these at the camp. Disorganisation rule supreme. The only beer that I enjoy. And it's a mosaic gluten free pale ale. <laughs> Tastes like a Solero. Like the outside of a Solero. Can you not be a hoe for one minute? Thank you. He's out of control. <laughs> I overstated my commitment to beer. I should have bought a half. Um, this is too much. So we are at the forest stage, which actually isn't in the festival. It's actually like by the campsite, so you don't even need a restaurant to get in. And we are seeing a band called Safe Space, which I've been reassured is not a safe space. I didn't know that. And so uh, it's, it's going to get rowdy. There's a few kids here. They might get kicked. I don't know. We'll see. Hammer. I'm here now, so let's go. Oh, guys. We're doing a little jumpy, jumpy, jumpy song. <laughs> Why don't we like spread out a bit so people can have space? And I want to see you jump. You... Alex, I see you. <laughs> I want to see you jumping, okay? All right, all right, all right, guys. All right, ready? <laughs> And the best turnout out to the week is Sheep Stage. Wait, I don't know if you can see them. There's a sheep up there. They keep waking me up. It's very cute. All right, we're snuggly. We're going. We're going for comfort for our final evening. Um, and we have had a couple of beverages uh, around the camp. Missed a couple of acts, but what are you gonna do? It's nice to have a chat. It's for the best you didn't hear it. It was all talk for the criminally insane. We are going to go and watch, I think, Frank Turner and Don Broco. Some of these guys are gonna go watch Wargasm. Not me. Don Broco. Fred does gasm. Fred does not. I would like to wargasm, but it clashes. Sorry, to hear that. Oh. I'm along with my drug dealer friend, and uh, she is a. Uh... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Why are you so big? Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got ibuprofen. We've got our, our paracetamol. <laughs> and you might even get some nems if you're lucky. On that cowpaw thing. Yeah, my foot is my foot is hurting, yeah? So I need uh, I need a little bit of that ibuprofen. In it. In it, in it. In it. We're ready for our last fucking night at trees. Woo! Oh, God. Toilet, had tissue stuck to my foot, and a girl immediately ran up to me and was like, We've got tissue on you, walk forward, I'll get it off. But she did, and that's the 2000 trees difference right there. Also, it's raining. Not Phil. Oh my god, I never told you. On the way here, um, we were at the train station, which I didn't vlog because it was boring. We were getting some tacos or some burritos for breakfast. 
and this guy was like, oh, you guys are for a festival. And we were like, yeah, we're up for a festival. And he goes like, oh, who's going to perform? And we were like listing off some of the um, the headliners. And we were like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 Don Broco, Bob Dylan. Like, Bob Dylan. And he was like, oh, so like loads of golden oldies then. And I realized he thought we said Bob Dylan. And he was probably about 20. So, yeah, he thought we were off to some OAP house festival. Oh, well. I mean, I do love Bob Dylan. <laughs> Busiest that I've seen. <laughs> Hang on. Think you sucked off the frog? Yeah, so I made a few friends. Mm -hmm. A couple of friends. They're like lovely people. One's a teacher, one runs a retail store. And uh, she had a, a, a little gun uh, full of water, a little war pistol, uh, and it was in the shape of a frog. And it's like passion fruit, something, something. So she was like, do you want some? And I said, yeah. And so I was like, and she squirted it to my mouth. And then she was like, do you want some? Ah, so you sucked off the frog. I didn't realize the was a thing. And then I am. So, so V was like this. <laughs> and then they were both very pleased about that. We're like, we like you. You're fun. I was like, unicorn. No, unicorn. I don't want to be a unicorn. <laughs> 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 oh, I love you. We just saw fireworks. I'm officially excited now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's my man angry about? He's a crowd management. Yeah. It's really annoying because now everyone's going to run towards the main stage. Yeah, and well, I said, your crowd management mm -hmm. skills are going to be put to the test. And he was like, my only skill is to say, stop fucking running! I was like, he wearing a costume at one point. I was like, oh, is it a joke? Oh, yes. Oh, no. I wouldn't know. The amount that would have been messed up. Why be mad? That's something fun. Great, great. Great to be with John. I like Don Burke. Thank you. I'm not doing the shoe, you know. Thousand trees. <laughs> Exciting position right now, in a way, with a new government who have, who are not facing an election anytime soon. So I just wanted to mention now is the fucking time to keep that pressure on. And we need to demand a ceasefire in Gaza straight away. We cannot forget about that. Yeah! Let's see this bit. He's going to Lou and Don Broco said ceasefire in Palestine. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck. I stand all the right people. Just kidding, I don't stand them, but they are good. Woo! They're safe. I'm lost, I'm hiding from me. Alright, never go pee until your head like that, because I cannot find them. When you're around with your child, what do you realize that we're worse than the toys you got? Woo! 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 Woo!
Yeah. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Thank you very much. You. Have a great rest of your night. <laughs> great rest of weekend. I will see you soon. Oh, yeah. Something yeah. mental is happening. I'm trying to leave, stuck in the insane crowd. I'm gonna blame Frank Turner. I think it's Frank Turner. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's always fucking Frank Turner. The road beneath my feet, to the west, to the west. 98% sure it's Frank Turner. We're in the fucking camp. We got to the bottom of it, it is fucking Frank Turner. He's in there somewhere, he's up there. I think he put himself in the middle of the fucking walkway. It's just a whole nightmare. I nearly turned on three or four people's tents. Apparently someone was sleeping in one of them. Well, too late! Frank Turner's shown up, so I'm gonna wake up. Once again, it is me and Fee at the very end. And the dirty stop out. We just saw Don Broco. It has ended with three lions and it has been so good. Did you have a good festival? Good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I did not know what to expect from trees, and it has been way better, way nicer, way more fun. I'm, I'm a convert, and I've been told. I've been told about the uh, about Arc Tangent. Apparently, there's another good one. Yeah. Just as fun. Just as fun. So yeah, I made lots of new friends. You've made loads of new friends. So many friends. <laughs> so I gave tiny lights to. Tiny lights. Tiny lights. Tiny lights. And um, we're just at the front. It's basically uh, Tush in the barrier. We're heading back to camp, but apparently Frank Turner is doing a secret set around the tents. And apparently he's right there. Oh yeah? I mean, he's just standing there. Go on, Frank! I blushed and my heart beat was up and I was like, fuck, that was exhilarating. That was, even roller coasters don't do that to me anymore. I get off like a critic, man. Like, that was cool. But that was fucking wicked, mate. So thank you. For that, I'll lift you anytime, bro. Oh, I love you so That was so good. Off 30, the last night, and I'm going to bed. My voice is starting to go. And it really was a beautiful ending to trees. So yeah, um, I don't know. It's been a good time. I got up early, because everybody said, off site by, by 7.30. It's 7.35. Do you see a single person moving? <sighs> Lol. Uh, just found out that Donald Trump was shot. That's While I was asleep, nuts, but he's alright. Yeah, that'll be in books in the future. Yeah, yeah man. Thanks for watching, Chip. Do they know? That's not good. Do they know who did That's it? not good. Uh, some guy. Zen's coming down, and I decided to vlog the very end of trees. And I was promised, I was promised something from this gang every time I tried to vlog. Now you. We wanted to, we wanted to say how wonderful the world is. How well, much? Which we've got assassinated, or it almost assassinated. That is kind of nice. Okay, okay, pretty deep then. Adam, you got anything to say for a vlog? <laughs> no. No? Oh, actually. Um... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I want to say we're putting our tent away wet so please in the comments or on stream remind us to open this tent up and dry it because otherwise it will be a big heap of mold next time that you see it in the vlog and that'd be really bad give me give me 10 10 it's 8 40. 38 degrees he's on smart guy and oh, look at that it's fucking beautiful babes look at that 
I was in the day Could have had some of this yesterday. This train has five coaches. After a long and moderately arduous journey, we have made it back into town. Um, the issue is, is that Fred's lost the keys. So... I, yeah, I um, lost them at some point. We don't know where they are. They could be in the tent. They could be, we, we were searching. We were searching high and low for them um, when we loaded everything into the van. But obviously we didn't want to keep people waiting. So we have gotten home and we have no way of getting into our flat. So we're either going to have to go collect all of our stuff from Ben's um, and go through it until we find the keys, or we are about to try and break in to our letterbox. Letterbox, right, which is locked because that's why Sophie put the keys because she was cat sitting for Florence the cat. And I was going to tell, I was going to tell her, no, leave the keys with our neighbours just in case. And I was like, you know what, the letterbox will be fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. So anyway, there, there's going to be some key fishing. Fucking key hook champion. I got it. Hello. 